My name is Dr. Joe Ferrantelli, developer of Posture Ray, the X-ray analysis EMR. A lot of you have heard of Posture Ray and what it can do, but if you haven't, let me go ahead and go through a couple points. Number one, it's a specific EMR system that is meant primarily to document your X-ray findings as well as build your practice at the same time with patient education. Furthermore, our platform is built on the original research that we used for CBP nonprofit. So all the spine modeling studies out there that we've done and published, where you see that normal healthy curve of a spine in the cervical, the thoracic and lumbar, it was our group that did that, our nonprofit. What we did with our system here at Posture is we took all that platform and put it into a user interface so that way a clinician could use it at the same time as what we did with our research software. No other system, no PACs can match what we have. Matter of fact, if you have a digital x-ray system, we work with your existing PACs to pull those DICOM images in. If you don't have a digital x-ray system, no worries. We have a proprietary method where we can actually calibrate standard photographs of your ex existing x-rays. Next, what I'd like to do is just take you and walk you through these general steps because everybody likes to see a lateral cervical and how quick and easy it, it is to accomplish. And then I'll show you a couple of the other features, okay? So I'm going to turn my back on you and you're also going to be able to see the video of me being able to do this, okay? So we have a lateral cervical here and I have my monitor vertical, but you don't need to have any specific monitor. You can use any modern computer system for this. You can even run this on a Mac running Parallels or another virtual machine. Right now we have my monitor mounted this way so I could see a larger view of the x-ray. Okay, most of your monitors are going to be mounted this way. Okay, especially for view boxes, a lot of people have it that way. So let's go ahead and look at this lateral cervical. If you look, up in this corner right through here, you can see there, just like our app Posture Screen Mobile, there is the ability to lead your staff members, your interns, or yourself through what points and what order to click. If you just want to simply put a lateral cervical curve on this, we can do that in two, two clicks. Very, very easy. But if you're watching this video, you are very specific. You're a chiropractor that is very specific to your documentation and you want to document these subluxations, rotations, and translations of all the vertebra so you can help that patient, right? So let me show you how to do this. I'm going to use a fancy pen on this screen. You don't need to use so. You can use a, a mouse if you like, but it leads you through this. So I'm just going to go ahead and click in order these points. And as you can see, it gives you a little helper. So that way you can precisely measure the spine. Okay, so this is what we did in all our research studies. Okay, and we can see right here, we can go ahead and see T1 and right there. Okay, so now all the spinal measurements are completely done right here. Now, of course, I can overlay George's line as well as the normal elliptical curve. Ours is the only licensed system no other packs, no other software has the rights to actually use the elliptical model that Dr. Don and Dean Harrison actually published. This is actually copyrighted intellectual property. We have the rights in Posture Ray to be able to do this. How cool is this? Not only do we have the x-ray done, but at this point in time, the doctor can document his needs. This is why we fill in that void between a regular EMR, EHR system, and your x-ray system. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to use impressions. I already had predefined pr impressions, but I could come in here and say, okay, there's this thinning noted at C5, C6, C6, C7, and you know there's you know moderate to severe diffuse degenerative changes noted, and I don't see any fractures. So now I'm done with that pathology report. The cool thing though is for patient education. That's what we have to do as doctors is document, but how about we educate the patient? Say this is a person that was just involved in a low speed rear impact collision. They typically have S-shaped curves, don't they? At least that's what a lot of the research studies have shown. Most cases they're gonna have this S-shaped curve when it's a rear impact collision, or <clears throat> something to that, that a lot lessening of the uh, lordosis. So if I wanna educate them, and I wanna make that emotional connection to that person so they know that I know with certainty I can help them, well, let's go ahead and educate them. You can make up your own phrases, 
but we're going to go ahead and scroll through a couple here. What we'll do is I'm going to put this one in here that I already typed up about traumatic injuries and how their spine looks like it fits that position. And not to worry because we can also rehab that as well. At this point in time, the nice thing about this is we can go ahead and generate documentation as quickly as this. So now we're going to have the PDF documents. Okay, We're going to have the images that we can export to the EHR that are already annotated. We're going to have the doctor's version of the report. So when someone asks for your records and your x-ray reports, these are going to substitute for your x-ray reports because they're legitimate real x-ray reports. Okay, So this would be a patient report of findings. And what we can see is it's branded for your clinic and talks about normal spinal alignment, normal postural alignment, talks about arthritis. This is a mini spinal care class. Now, do you have to print this up? No, you don't. But if you choose to, this is very educational. Why we measure x-rays. You know, patients need to understand that. What are the true risks of ionizing radiation at low thresholds? What are the true risks? Well, of course, we wrote a topic on that. We actually helped write the ICA best practices. We spearheaded that, as well as the PCCRP uh, document guidelines that are national guidelines for our profession. Well, we took some of that information and put it in posture. What I just digitized for the patient is right here. They're going to get a report at the report of findings that's going to show normal versus them. It's going to say, hey, look, you know, your head is 17 millimeters forward. Your curve is 7.8 degrees reversed. It should be 42 degrees extended. And they've lost 118% of their normal expected lordosis. I didn't have to measure anything. I just had to click the right points. Down here is your moment of education. What do you want to say to that patient to convey that you know what their problem is and that you believe that you can help them? Okay. We're going to go through the rest of the x-rays. So if they had flexion extension, if they have instability problems, we put that into terms that they understand. And we would go through every x-ray view. Okay. The best feature about this is that not only do we have a patient report of findings, but we can also do the doctor's notes. So for this patient, we can show the x-ray and then all the values of compared to normal, all the segmental subluxations compared to our published model that was in spine 1996, spine 2004. No other system can claim that, right? We have our thoracic model published. We have our elliptical model published in the best orthopedic scientific journals in the world. Okay, These aren't just trade publications. These are the best index medicus journals that you can actually get published in. CBP nonprofit has a research. So that's what backs up posture. No other PACs, no other system can claim that. When we move forward with this, we can also not only document all of their x-ray findings, if it was even a scoliosis, if it's, a, if it's an AP open mouth, if it's lower cervical, we'll get to the scoliosis in a second. We have the nasium findings, vertex base posterior. We have the lateral thoracic with our model. We, and then if we go through, we have a scoliosis example. Now these are not all the same patient. I just go, I went ahead and wanted to show you some example x-rays. Lateral lumbar. And then there's another scoliosis, right? With the Cobb lines and riser Ferguson. If you need for med legal work, if you have to document, say, cervical spine injuries based on the AMA guides, we've got that covered as well too. Using the end plate lines that were originally pioneered by Punjabi, we have that system. We also can do pennings assessment. To my knowledge, no other system is even able to do pennings assessment, let alone a traditional PAX. That's why X-ray vendors resell our software as well because it's the perfect complement to a X-ray digital system. Our software is the perfect complement to what doctors need to succeed in practice. One of the things, obviously. Okay, so we can document all those findings. And we can also, and here's Penning's assessment as well down here, every, the highlighted areas are areas of instability. And if you needed an x-ray travel sheet, not that many of you need this nowadays, but if you still have paper notes, you can have an x-ray travel sheet with all the thumbnails and all the listings on the side. Now, if that wasn't enough, of course, we can go ahead and do comparisons pre-post. Okay, We can also 
do the view box because once this is done we can call up x-rays to do a concise effective report of findings that's what I'm going to show you on this other screen okay so let's go ahead and look over on this other screen this other screen is acting as a view box so you can actually have a regular big TV hooked up to a regular computer and control everything with a mouse you can have an all-in-one computer like this is which is uh, touch sensitive there are many many options the nice thing with our software is it runs on any modern computer platform so you don't have to go out and buy all new hardware so if we're going to go ahead and do a view box and this was my report of findings area I could go ahead and let's go ahead and, and find the patient I'm going to go ahead and pull up Mr. Hurt's spine here the nice thing about this system is it incorporates posture screen mobile you can export the postural photographs that are annotated from my app that's on iTunes App Store as well as on Android and we can import those photographs so that way if I wanted to educate the patient and I wanted to show them what their problem was here I could go ahead I could I could draw the lines I could show them where their head is forward where their pelvis is forward and of course I have the posture screen mobile findings as well but then I can go ahead and show them normal versus them and unlike a traditional PAC system, we've already measured these x-rays. So if I hit this button, notice what happens. All the segmental angles, the angulations, and the translations of every segment are documented. So it's no coincidence that, guess what else? We use this for research as well too, guys. Pretty powerful. So it's not just for documenting in a, the clinician's office. This is what our research team actually uses as well. How cool is that? So now, if I wanted to draw on the x-ray, I could go ahead and circle their problems. If I wanted to show, put them in different positions, I could go ahead and put them in different positions. So if I wanted to educate them on laying on their back with a dental roll, I could say, Mrs. Jones, we're going to put you on your back this way, and we're going to go ahead and take a stress correction potential film so I can see how your spine responds to using this orthotic. So I know with certainty what to do with your spine because if this dental orthotic is positioned in the right way we're going to push that spine to a more healthy stable position right so what we're going to do next is let me go ahead and put this back to where it was and at this point in time if I just wanted to show the translational distances I could show the translational distances then what's time is we can go ahead and move forward so on flexion extension analysis if you wanted to go ahead and put the values so you could see all the segmental values they're there you don't have to refer just to the documents that you printed up for the patient they're there right in front of you best yet if I wanted to go through and show the posterior tangent lines or if I wanted to even show the end plate lines those are there right at your fingertips moving forward everything that we've done we have an AP lower cervical the values are all right here at your fingertips so if we go through I'll just cycle through everything that I showed you on the other screen is now here okay so let's go through just to show you lumbars breaks down based on our elliptical model for the low back so what my point is everything here is evidence-based published in the best scientific journals in the world so when someone asks you Dr. Ferrantelli how do you know that that is normal how do you know that that is where the patient should be we know it's certainty and if somebody has a problem with that guess what you can do give them the research article that's in the best scientific journals in the world okay so this is very very powerful and if you wanted to be able to show instability in the low back of course we can go ahead and be able to do that as well too okay and for scoliosis we can even not only just overlay the findings of the Cobb and riser ferguson values for a scoliosis but we can also we're going to go ahead and put in the Cobb lines and riser ferguson superimposed right on top of that it's already there and I could even hide the lines if I wanted to hide everything we can hide everything just like that so at your fingertips you're now getting the understanding the true understanding of how powerful posture is let me show you one other I actually have from when I was in practice I have a before and after so if we went in here and let me see if this patient is in here I believe they are and I'm gonna go ahead and show Amy here her pre and her post so now even though these are traditional x-rays we can actually show where she was before and where she's at now so those are photographs that we imported using our proprietary calibration techniques 
to make sure the measurements are valid, okay? So before and after. Nothing is as simple as posture. If you'd like any more additional information, feel free to reach out to us at xrayanalysis.com, our main website, postureanalysis.com, or email us at info at postureray.com. Okay, thanks and talk to you soon.